All right, once again, what we're doing is we're looking at moving between Lightroom and Photoshop. And let's look at another thing that is a lot easier to do in Photoshop than it is to do in Lightroom. So here I am in Lightroom. Let's say I wanted to take these two photographs and put them together on the same canvas. I'm going to go to this picture here, right click, edit in Adobe Photoshop. And I want to edit with Lightroom adjustments. So if I've made adjustments to the image, I want to keep those as I move back and forth between Lightroom, click um, between Lightroom and Photoshop. I'm going to go over to this image here and I'm going to right click on it and send it to Photoshop too. Edit in Adobe Photoshop. And once again, I want to edit with the original uh, uh, Lightroom adjustments. So now I've jumped both of these images over into Photoshop, here are the two images. And what I want to do is I want to put the two images side by side. So it doesn't matter which one I start with. I'm going to grab this one here, for instance. And what I want to do is I want to increase the canvas dimension. So I'm going to go to image, I'm going to go to canvas size. And instead of working in pixels, I'm going to set it to percent. And I'm going to make the width 200%. So I'm going to double the width of the canvas. And then I'm going to add the added dimensions on the, uh, the uh, left hand side by clicking the little button here which pushes the extra area over to the left and to the right click OK and so now I just jump that over so I don't even have to measure it. I know that's going to be exactly what I need I'll grab the other picture do a select all edit copy click on this picture here Edit, paste. Now I'll grab my move tool, move it over, put it right next to it. I can use the arrow key on my keyboard to get it exactly in place. And I've created this image. I couldn't have done this in Lightroom. And then what I simply do is I close and save. And I'll close the other image. In this case, I don't need to save. And then I go back to Lightroom, and I've got this new image that before Hitafoy didn't exist. And I've done something that would be near about impossible to do in Lightroom. So those are some different ideas about how I can move between Photoshop and Lightroom. Let's stop there.